I have seen things that nightmares are made of. Do you believe in ghosts? Edinburgh, Indiana is a medium-sized town located 30 miles south of Indianapolis along I-65. Situated in the far southeast corner, it was the first settlement in Johnson County. John Campbell was Edinburgh's first settler, coming to the area in 1820. Though there have been different accounts throughout the years, it is still unclear how the town got its name. It is thought to be named for Edinburgh, Scotland. The homeland of Alexander Thompson, who along with Lewis Bishop owned the 32 lots in the original plot of the town in 1822. Edinburgh is the home of Camp Atterbury, a National Guard training facility since World War II, and up to the 1980s, military police from the camp accompanied local officers whenever military personnel were on overnight passes in town. It is also home to the Edinburgh Premium Outlet Mall, which includes over 80 different name brand stores, Timbergate, Golf Course, and Exit 76 Antique Mall. These activities, along with the area parks nearby Simmons Winery, assures Edinburgh's hotels and bed and breakfasts many overnight tourists. One of the town's beautiful historic homes is the Edinburgh Bed and Breakfast. At the 1870, Toner Maley House, located at 606 Main Cross Street in Edinburgh's Historic District, it is now owned and operated by Torrin Scott of Arizona. The Toner Maley House was built from 1870 to 1871 by Jacob Toner on the Edinburgh Union Agricultural Society Fairgrounds, which was the first fairgrounds in Johnson County. Jacob Toner owned a hominy and a flour mill in Edinburgh as well as a handle company. He was well known for his fine woodworking skills, which is quite evident throughout the home. In 1883, businessman and politically active Democrat Henry Maley purchased the home from the Toners. Henry owned a lumber businesses in Indiana and West Virginia. He is well known as the father of quarter sawed oak. Henry's grandson, Henry Hank Maley lived in the house in the late 1820s to the early 1830s. He owned the Maley Special, which was driven by Lou Moore in the 1933 Indianapolis 500, coming in in third place. The home stayed in the Maley family for generations, but eventually passed through multiple hands and unfortunately ended up being broken up into apartments and had not been well taken care of. In 2006, Torrin Scott moved from Arizona to Edinburgh and bought the Grand Lady to restore her back to her original glory and open it up as a bed and breakfast. She has been lovingly and painstakingly working on her home ever since. As with many historical buildings under renovation, there have been some strange and unusual things happen in the home and continues to this day. When Torrin first moved in, she was not a believer in the paranormal. 
but since working on and especially since moving in she has changed her mind. Torn herself as well as family members, workers, guests, and even paranormal investigators have all had experiences in the house. She even gives paranormal tours and a haunted Halloween tour of her beautiful home every Halloween night. And people come from miles away to enjoy and possibly get spooked. Okay, well, that one folks. Okay. This is Mike Flickner with Sai. Uh, with me at the Toner Maley uh, Bed and Breakfast. It is April 5th, and the approximate time is 8.48 p.m. We're starting out with the EVP session here in the basement. If there's any presence in this room that'd like to make itself be known, can you please do so now? By either making a noise, moving an object, can you state your name? Or can you touch one of us? Oh my gosh. It's mad, bro. My flashlight is completely unscrewed and it won't go off. You want me to turn it off? There, I'd take... It's still not going off. Just like to note for the... There you go. Oh my god. Just like to make a note. We have been having all kinds of equipment malfunctions here already this evening. Uh, cameras have been giving us problems. We've had cameras drain batteries almost immediately after they've been installed. And uh, just all kinds of strange electronic failures here this evening. Again, I state if there's any presence in this room, I'd like to make itself be known. I've placed a flashlight on the floor, and I've also placed a box. It's got an antenna sticking out of it. If you were to move up close to that box, you will cause the lights to flash on it. Or maybe you could try turning the flashlight on for me. If you wish me to sit down, because I know you like your space, I will do so. In my hand, I hold another object. If you were to come over and speak to this object, I might be able to hear you speak. Is there anyone down here with us at all? If you're here with us, did you used to work here? I heard that the basement is where the servants' quarters used to be. Can you please tell me your name? Can you tell me what today's date is? Did you used to live here? If so, how many people were here with you?
Is there anyone here from a Toner Melee clan? Is there anything you would like to say to us? Uh huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have found the box. You know, you could uh, speak to me through that box if you were to uh, walk up to it and make the lights flash. Maybe once for yes, twice for no, and three times for maybe. Do you want to speak with us? If so, can you flash the light on that box? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's really cool of you. You know, if you step up closer, you'll make the alarm go off on it. It's not going to harm you. I promise you that. Step away from the box. I think it's just curious, guys. Thank you. Is that your son camera? No, it was a guinea pigs. Can you pick stomach? They make noise like it. Can you step back from the box? Thank you. That's really cool of you. If you can understand what I'm saying to you. <laughs> yes, you do, don't you? That's really neat of you. Please take a step back because I would like to talk with you further. Thank you again. Did you used to uh, live here? Was that a flash telling me that you used to live here? If you, if you used to live here, step up back up to the box and see if you can make the siren go off. No? Did you work here? No? Have you seen any of us before? I'd just like to make a statement. Something has got the guinea pigs. There are two guinea pigs here. Hello? And something's got them staring right now. Plus, we're getting communication through the mail meter. Please step back so I can speak with you more. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's really cool of you. Are you getting the guinea pigs all riled up? Can they see you? Do you know what they can? Try to turn the flashlight on. Is that possible? No. The flashlight's like a torch. It won't hurt you. All you have to do is go close to it and touch it. We don't have anything here that's going to harm you. As with all sci investigations, the investigation started out 
with a sweep of the premises with EMF meters to see if we can find any man-made or artificial EMF readings. Barb Wyatt was using a K2 meter and when she first entered the premises she was getting spikes that would be there and then gone. And at one point during her sweep the K2 meter lit up as bright as it could all the lights and then suddenly went out. The K2 meter did not work the rest of the evening. Upon further investigation and opening up the meter we had found that the circuit board had been burnt out. This is the first time that this has ever happened on any side investigation and the rest of the evening was plagued with malfunctions of cameras and EVP recorders, unexplained malfunctions to say the least. Leading us to believe that we may have stumbled across something here. Did you attend them or were you one of, the, one of the people that put them on? Trapped here? Send us information that you were here. I heard that. That was me, I think, turning around. Well, it's cold enough to hang beef in here. I know it's cold enough. I mean, it's so it's like gems. Is there a gem in here? Got a Paul and Jim. Is there somebody in here by one of those or both those names?
Is there a reason all people come in here? Does it bother you that we're here? No? Do you like it that we're here? Bet you could do it if you tried. No, you're not going to tell me. I'll tell you what. Speak into this box right here that I hold, if you can, and let me know how many people are here, please. We're just curious about you. Thank you. 
That's cool. It's not my imagination. Oh, it's a busy place. <laughs> That was very cool of you. Thank you. Can you come back, please? I wonder if that's exhausting to do all that. Mm. I don't know about the meter. Mm -hmm. If it is, the flashlight's hard for me. That warmed up, I agree. You just yeah. wanted to bring one in the red? No, it's 10. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. It's amazing that you're able to do that. We appreciate it very much. Yes, we do. That many presences here. That's that's a lot. You guys having a party? <laughs> Could you possibly flash the lights and tell me how many of us are here? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. No. Oh, 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 oh. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Digital recording devices do not usually pick up static. They are crystal clear because they are used in the digital media. Any kind of static that could be captured on a digital recorder would have to be from a high amount of EMF frequency. This has never really happened to us before in the field with all of our investigations. However, this particular place here, instead of getting EVPs, we did pick up some static. Take a listen. I'd really like to see if you would come here and speak in this recorder for me if you haven't done so already. I'd really like to see if you would come here and speak in this recorder for me. If you haven't done so already. I'd really like to see if you would come here and speak in this recorder for me. If you haven't done so already. Are you still here with us? Can you turn the blue light back on if you're in here with us yet? Please don't leave. Come back, please. Continuing his rounds. <laughs> 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 I'm going to check things out. <laughs> 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 I'm going to make an
is that like? <laughs> Okay, well, whoever you are, thank you very much for coming forward. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. If there's anybody else in here that would like to come forward, all you have to do is step up to the box. Anybody at all? Or the flashlight. Or the flashlight or this other box. Anybody? Please don't be afraid. Anybody's welcome to come in and communicate with us. We'd like to hear what any of you have to say to us. The last person told us there was a lot of you all in here. So anybody's welcome to come on in. Okay, well, we're going to try some other areas. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very cool. flashlight completely out if you can. I know it's hard. Please back away from the flashlight so it goes off, please. Here, I'll help you. Because I want to communicate with you on the other step, too. <laughs> it's the same as before. down a blue light that's up there next to the box with an antenna and the flashlight it's so I, it's there to help you communicate with us listen okay you have something you'd like to say
temperature keeps jumping from like 56 to 63 over there, back and forth. Yeah. What is it you'd like to say? Hello? You have to say it a little bit louder. It's hard for me to understand you. <coughs> Try again, please. Are you the same one we spoke with earlier tonight? I'm catching orbs flying by that area over there. <coughs> I got orbs going across the screen over there by the equipment. Can you flash the blue lights on for me up there? On that box, if you just step up to it, you can talk to me through that too. It won't harm you. I promise you that. I'm still seeing orbs. If you go to that box over there. What was that? That was a box on the floor. Hang your light over there. It's right in front of you. It's what? That, that box on the floor is right in front of her. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was really cool of you. Can you take a step back so the noise will go away? Thank you. Can you please tell us your name? Thank you very much. It's really neat. Can you please tell us your name? You would? Not really hard. The camera is totally blurry now. Okay, it's back to normal now. Okay, that's weird. I hear you trying to talk. I'm going to set this recorder a little bit closer to you. Please don't leave. I'm not going to harm you.